Good morning, my awesome friends. Welcome back to the Taper Tag Challenge. So today we are going to do things from your garden and we're going to have a bit of fun. And I hope you're going to follow along and join the challenge. So I picked up a few leaves in the garden and I dried them in a book before I used them. This is the same leaf, that is the front of the leaf or the right side of the leaf and this is the back you'll find that your back has always got more detail and i'm inclined to want to work with the back of a leaf um, and then if you don't have leaves we have skeleton leaves i love these they work really well and here i have a little fern very very fine and then if you don't have any of those or you can't go in the garden because it's winter or you've got snow and you can always use your die cuts which work really well so i must just tell you that i decided to do a little flower tag and i realized that if your leaf is very fine or very thin so i'm actually thinking that this might be problematic although it looks beautiful i don't know how well it's going to come out because there's um you can't feel the definition, if you understand what I mean. Whereas this leaf has got a bit of dimension and you can actually feel it. So I'm going to leave that one for later and give it a try. But just so you can see, this was a skeleton leaf and it really worked well. So you could see the definition through, through the thin tape. And here's another little leaf. So let's have a, let's have a look and see what happens. For this tag challenge, I am going to do this leaf. <coughs> I apologize, I've got a bit of a gruff voice today. I um, feel like I'm getting a cold. But I thought let's uh, grab some natural light and do this video quick, quick. Oh, tore the tape. Makes you laugh when nothing goes according to plan. I really don't want to do a patchwork tag today. We're just going to use a piece of tape. And then I'm going to cut this one. So I've already crumpled all my tape. I'm not going to do that for you on camera. I'm sure you can figure that out for yourselves. Um, and <coughs> um, I see some of the ladies are really having a ball. They're experimenting. It's so wonderful to see that the metal tape bug has bitten because that was my intention, to share what I've learned over the last five years. And I especially want to give credit to my mentor, um, Tanya, from Tanya's Heart. You can go and have a look at her page. She's amazing. Um, she has such a colorful vibrant style um, and I've learned so much from her so thanks Tanya for all your encouragement and your guidance as women I think it is so important to just share without always having an expectation of getting something back and the reward is so much sweeter than always doing something with an agenda so Tanya has taught me that we both share unconditionally and I'm so grateful that she's my soul sister in art and that I discovered metal tape through her so here I've got a paper stump and I've covered my paper stump with um, metal tape because I find sometimes if you use them a lot they start to unravel and I discovered that another name for a paper stump is called a paper pencil so if you're still struggling to find it just google paper paper pencil and this leaf is lovely because it's got a bit of dimension and you're going to see such nice um, lines coming through on the leaf so <clears throat> you go i really would appreciate it if you're enjoying these videos if you would leave a comment for me and please subscribe to my youtube channel um i'm trying to keep things as uncomplicated 
So there you go. If you have a look there, you can see the definition has already come through. Whereas on the flower that I did before, I had to wing it because the little pressed flower was so thin that you actually couldn't see the detail so well. So just be careful what you choose from your garden that it in fact has nice detail. And here I'm using my pen. Remember, if you're a beginner, you don't have to rush out and buy lots of tools and things. Just use your ballpoint pen in the beginning. And make sure that you smooth close to your template or your um, leaf, whatever you're using. Make sure that you take your paper stump and smooth very closely there so that you don't tear. Um, it is quite natural to tear your tape. So don't feel too concerned if you do. So I'm just using my ballpoint pen where the leaf stains are. And this leaf, you can't see it, but it's actually quite hairy. And I'm surprised to see that the little hairs have, have come through on the tape. So I hope it's going to ink really well. You'll have to see. <coughs> So you can see I'm scribbling here and the reason I'm scribbling is that I actually want to highlight all those little hairs. So let me show you, I'll give you a close up there. If you look here, the little hairs are so fine, but when we ink it with the Sharpie, nothing's going to stick there. So by scribbling with your pen or with your tool, you're going to give your ink somewhere to stick. And I think this leaf is going to be lovely. Okay. So let's do that. Can you see the detail? It's looking good. And I'm going to just use my pen and freehand a word. Press quite firmly into your tape. And let's just say spring. So remember, we doodle and we write and you can do anything on your tape. The more you work on the background, the better it will be. And then when you, when in doubt and you don't know what to do, to your tag and it looks a bit plain still what do we do we do a border so let's do a border quickly and i'm just going to draw lines towards the edge always work towards your edge so you don't hook your tape up here we go So remember, you can use your, um, sorry, I thought that was my tool. I have no idea where my tool is. Here you go. You can use your dot art tool, nail art tool, stylus, whatever you want to call it. And if you don't have that, you use a ballpoint pen. The one thing that I do like about the ballpoint pen, it's, it's really great for beginners, but not only that, it um, moves really smoothly over the tape. You know, sometimes you use a stylus or something and it, kind of feels like it's hooking. So here I don't want to go over my word that I wrote, so I'm only going to go up to it. I'll show you now exactly what I mean. And for this challenge I'd like you to do the same. I want you to do your leaf and do your border and use your, your card or your ruler the way I'm using it. You'll see it's quite easy to control your line. Okay, see, I'm not drawing over the leaf and I'm not drawing over the word. And then we'll go here. And do that. And the top.
always working towards the edge. All done. How's that look? We're going to ink it with our Sharpie. And I see ladies have been experimenting with different permanent markers. That's great. Love to know what you're using. But uh, after many years of experimenting, I found my go-to thing is the Sharpie. And yeah, other pens just don't do it for me. And what do we do when we don't want ink on our fingers? We just grab a piece of the backing from our tape and just hold the tag. Okay, I'm going to let that one dry. And I also want to just color this one, the flower that I did earlier. And let's see what comes out there. So we're heading in into winter now in South Africa, where most of the ladies are going into summer. So it's always strange um, how different our weathers are. So both of these were done with alcohol ink, and I've had a lot of ladies begging me to do an uh, alcohol ink tutorial. And I must just tell you that it took me four years before I felt confident to work with alcohol ink, and I've only been doing metal tape for five. So you must know that um, it took me a while to get used to using ink, but it really does look amazing. And I will do a tutorial on, on how to use alcohol inks later, but not today. In the meantime, if you are interested in alcohol ink, I suggest you get yourself two colors. Um, two complementary colors is usually a good idea, but any two colors that you like will work. Okay, so these have dried to the touch. In other words, the ink does not transfer onto your hand. And I'm going to use my little sanding buff, nail buff. Also, make sure you work towards your edge so you don't hook your tape by working <coughs> from the edge. And there you go. How cool is that leaf? Look how lovely that came out. I'm so impressed with the leaf. So yes, a real leaf from your garden. And then this was the pressed flower. And I'm really not sure how well it's going to come out, but we'll see. Oops. It's really delicate and sweet. But I must admit, I don't think it's my favorite. And we'll give them a little wipe. That one. And that one. So, I don't know which one you think is great, but I must admit this leaf is absolutely gorgeous. So, go and roam around your garden and pick up something of interest. And there's your delicate little flower, which is also beautiful. Very delicate. But I think for your first try you should at least use a skeleton leaf a die cut or make sure you choose a leaf with a little bit of dimension not too thin because i don't think it's going to work so well um but yes have fun and i can't wait to see what you do please don't forget to use the hashtag taper tag when loading your um, creations in the taper tag group on facebook thanks for watching